Hello everyone. I wanted to take just a few minutes out of your day to give you an update on the various priorities WBA is managing on your behalf and that of your customers. I'm recording this on Sunday, March 22nd, so obviously everything I'm telling you is current as of today. With this crisis, we've all seen changes happen daily, if not hourly, on some days. So with that, let me start out. One of our top priorities has really been to make sure that the banking industry as a whole is deemed an essential business. You saw with the governor's executive order, the first one from DHS earlier in the week, that banks were not explicitly stated, although it was their intent, that the industry would be covered as an essential business and therefore excluded from the order. That order was revised on Friday, March 20th, and it's very clear that banks on a very broad scale are exempt from the order. It is our expectation and certainly something I've communicated throughout the week with key cabinet officials that if the governor, and I stress if, he enacts a shelter in order place uh, order, shelter in place order, um, that banking industry as a whole will again be exempt. We've seen some mistakes really happen in other jurisdictions where specific job functions of industries like the banking industry were noted. And of course, they left out many key people that really need to be able to get into a building if necessary to help make sure all of the operations of a bank function. So do rest assured and please look at our landing page, which has the updated order from Friday that shows you the language in terms of the whole industry being exempt from the current order that's out there. The governor did state on Friday during his press conference that he is not expecting to issue a shelter in place order. Certainly we all hope it does not get to that degree here in Wisconsin, but now with the state of Illinois, uh, putting that order in place, uh, things certainly are coming a little closer to home. I also want to reassure you that we have been working quite a bit uh, at the federal level on a variety of key legislative issues that affect our industry that we need some relief on, the first of which is a transaction account guarantee program. We have been advocating earlier in the week, and I repeated it again over the weekend with our congressional delegation to make sure they understand that in reinstituting essentially the TAG program that was put in place in 2008 for a temporary period, whether it's through all of 2020 or through a one or two year time frame, is really critical to the industry and keeping the deposits in place that you all need to help fund the loans that you all are making at this point in time. So we are hopeful and I've been hearing from some of my sources in DC that we expect some legislation hopefully early in the week in the next stimulus package. But even today I started seeing that there's some politics, of course, at foot, some partisan bickering going on in Washington and we do need that to end in order to stay focused on the mission of what we all need to get done legislatively. In addition, I've been hearing a lot of complaints about appraisers, uh, of course, understandably, uh, not wanting to go into people's homes at this point in time to do appraisals, which are effectively halting the mortgage origination in a lot of your banks. That too is a priority requesting relief, either in terms of no longer requiring full-blown appraisals uh, and instead replacing that with something different like evaluations that the bank can do using either tax assessments, drive-by uh, visuals, or even doing an appraisal from the outside of a building rather than the interior of the building. In addition, obviously, we've been working on various programs, both at the state and federal level with, again, key cabinet officials here in Wisconsin, in addition to, at the federal level, our congressional delegation to make sure we can continue to get some relief for your business customers through the banking industry. Many of you saw WEDC at the state level initiated a $5 million grant program to help affected businesses that have 20 employees or less, but that program is right now being run only through CDFIs and only for CDFI customers. So I've been working quite a bit with the cabinet secretary as well as others to make sure that the next tranche of money that comes down is such that it goes to the banking industry as well to help all of your customers in addition to the CDFI customers that are already being helped. On the legislative front and regulatory front, there's a whole host of more issues I could talk about that are priorities, but in summary, please know that we are working on your behalf. Make sure you and your team are looking at our landing page every day. We update information there. We add to the 
complimentary webinar programs we've been putting on to help keep your staff educated and informed. And in addition, we have links to our forms that you can purchase uh, electronic forms if you don't already have any for documents like a deferral agreement. So please do stay in touch with us if you have any questions or you would like us to make sure we understand what some of the concerns are that you're seeing, what you're hearing from your customers. Please email me at any time or call me. If I'm not in the office, my phone does ring to my cell phone. So thank you for all your support through this. Together, I know we will get through all of this. And again, I hope you all stay very healthy and well. Thank you.